Here are a couple of activities that I've been participating in to keep me sane during this pandemic. First, coffee. Coffee has been a great normalizer during these times. It's a routine I would normally do and it gets me out of bed each morning. For breakfast, I've been making smoothies, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, almond butter, and dates. Smoothies have been great in the morning as they are easy to digest and let me work out in the morning. I, like many, am uncertain of the final outcome of this situation. My company has already issued a pay cut and I can't do my job unless I am there physically. While this may seem bleak, I have been using this time to practice commuting to work by bike. I've always wanted to bike to work, but the traffic in the Silicon Valley can be a little scary. Now that the streets are empty, I've been able to explore different routes without having to worry about other vehicles. Biking to work has given me an activity to do every day and has kept me optimistic as I have built a new and better habit that I did not have entering this pandemic. The trip to work is a round trip, but on my way home from work, I usually drop by my local market and pick up ingredients for lunch. For lunch today, we will be making an egg salad sandwich. The trick for a good egg salad is to not overcook the eggs. A creamier yolk means less mayonnaise. Nine minutes in boiling water should yield a perfectly cooked egg.
Add in Japanese mayo and some togarashi, then lunch is served. After lunch, it is a complete toss up. I'll answer what work emails I can, but I've been killing time with a variety of things. My local photo lab is closed, so I've been catching up with undeveloped film and developing it myself. Developing at home isn't as scary as it looks, and it is significantly cheaper than getting it lab processed. I've been able to get some decent results and can't wait to develop more film. I've also been trying to help out my family when I can. While I can't physically babysit my restless nieces and nephews, I have been able to digitally babysit them with an app called Roblox. Honestly, I have no idea what this app is, but the kids seem to love it. A couple games are usually enough to get in their birthday request and give their parents a little break. Finally, online happy hour has been a great way to catch up with friends and family. Jennifer and I are also lucky enough to have a couple of breweries down the street from us, so we've been trying to support local by purchasing alcohol from them rather than the big box stores. Overall, I've weirdly found a new sense of normal amidst all that has happened. While I have been trying to make the most out of all of this, I often seem to come back to one single point. I just really need a haircut. <laughs>